within the first billion years of our history, life appeared in the oceans and began to affect the Earth's atmosphere and surface, leading to the proliferation of an aerobic and an aerobic organisms. Some geological evidence indicated that life may have arisen as far as 4.1 billion years ago. The history of us is divided into four eons, starting with the early East, the Ahadians, Asian, Proterozoic, and Panerozoic. The first three eons, which together lasted nearly four billion years, are together known as the Free Cambrian. Evidence for life has been found in the Achaean about 3.8 billion years ago, but life did not become abundant until the Panerozoic. The Panerozoic is divided into three eras, starting with the early East. They are the Panerozoic, Mesozoic, and Cyanozoic. The Panerozoic eras saw the development of many kinds of animals and plants in the sea and on land. The Mesozoic era was the end of dinosaurs, and the Cenozoic era we are in currently is the end of mammals. The Cenozoic began about 65 million years ago with the end of the Earth of Minosaur. With many scientists, thing was caused by a cosmic impact. Mammals survived to become the dominant land animals today. Genetic measurement indicates that the Earth lies which will lead to Homo sapiens. Divided from the lives that will lead to the chimpanzees, the closest living relics of modern humans, around 6 million years ago. Is it true that the Achalopitiza genus, which were likely the first ape to walk upright, eventually gave rise to genus Homo, and anatomically, modern humans arose in Africa about 200,000 years ago? and reached the behavior of modern liberty about 50,000 years ago. In 24 of November 1859, so far 158 years ago, the origin of Isis, a work of scientific literature by Charles Darwin, which is considered to be the foundation of evolution biology, a science holy Bible of humankind was created. Darwin both introduced a scientific theory that population and role over the course of generations through the process of nature selection. It presses a body of evidence that the diversity of life arose by common desert through a branching pattern of evolution. Darwin included evidence that he had gathered on the bigger expedition in the 1815 and his subsequent findings from the research caused further experimentation. From this burn of Darwin's creation, most of us believe we, the humans, came from the age and came up the very, very high in the tree of revolution to the day we can make the fire and be ourselves in prison. Are we monkey? No. We all know the theory of revolution will never become a law of science because it's a wood with errors. This why is still called a theory is there of a law. The process of nature selection is not an evolutionary process. If nature selection were true, Eskimo would have proved to keep warm but they don't. There are as a helis as everyone else. If nature selection were true, human in the tropics would have a sinus related skin to have them keep cool, but they don't. They have black skin, just the opposite of what the theory of nature selection would predict. If nature selection were true, human at nothing like to do would have black skin but they have white skin instead. Expand the Eskimos who have skin that is halfway between white and black. The people from Russia 
as a Nori country, have white skin, blue hair, and blue eyes. This is the opposite side of what one would credit in nature solution, controlling skin color. And also, a lot of us we get fouled by sun to prove Darwin's theory is wrong. Example, but through nature selection is naturally wrong. Darwin's theory suggests that millions of generations later, the chance when this sound is a new species, this adaptation occurs links of intermediates between the old species and the new. The idea of nature selection so great when consider the deer that can sing, jungle, the quickest and run the fastest are able to escape the predator on a more consistent basis. However, all the example of the evolutionary trees have many flaws. One of the best examples of evolution not sense is the truth that a wingless bird began to involve a wing. Why this would occur is not as certain by the evolutionists. The wing stop destroys the bird more adaptable to his environment. The first wing stop would be the much too small for the bird to fly. Why would the bird continue for millions of generations to improve a wing stop that's useless? The theory of evolution is based on the natural selection of the most adaptable member of a Pisces, not the weakest. A bird with a useless wing is at a server this abatet. This is the opposite side of nature selection. And what about dinosaurs? Giant dinosaurs liberally explored onto the scene during the Triassic period. The fossil record featured bones following the ground as a dinosaur nature park in the San Utah. So no intermediate of transition passes. Where are the millions of years of fossils showing the transition forms of dinosaurs? They do not exist because the dinosaur did not evolve. Books published by evolutionists have shown the giant Ceratosaurus dinosaur with a long neck, a standing upright eating from the treetops. They claimed that nature selection was the reason Ceratosaurus have a long neck. This gave them an advantage in reaching further than other Pisces could not reach. One day, during the assembly of a skeleton for a museum display, someone noted the neck vertebra was such that the neck could not be lifted higher than triggered horizontally in front of them. The nature selection theories were proved to be a big lie. The Ceratosaurus dinosaur was an underground eater. The long neck actually played the Ceratosaurus as a disadvantage in his environment. Yes, the opposite from theory of nature selection. Evolutionists like a picture of similar looking species and clumps involved one from another. The human family tree is an example of this flaws of theory. Richard Hughes Coons and Bonds exist from the hundreds of the Pisces of accepted monkeys and apes. Evolutionists like the most promising choice to present a grand profession from the monkey to modern human. The simply few is a big gap with big believe creatures to fit the picture. This process can be done with humans only because there are many exist monkeys and apes Pisces. They never do this bureaucrats, elephants of the party foods. A monkey Pisces that have become assets, lots of Pisces have become assets. Millions of Pisces have become assets. It is obviously not similar to a human. Look at the feet with the big toe spread away from the smaller toes, exactly like a modern chimpanzee, not like pupil. A newly discovered assets Pisces doesn't prove a missing link has been found. So right here, we found a secret and mystery of mankind originated from. A mystery theory proved we, human, is not revolution, just a devolution from ancient and the race.
Well, you're from India. He's from China. I see from UK. We are different in the color of skin, lack of hand, size, brains, stomach, lung, everything. But that's one thing we are in the same. Every man and woman, the same. Just meet Dr. Esna Mudasek and his adventure to exploration of a Tibet, Afghanistan, Egypt, and several other places to discover the mankind original. By his book, Where Do We Come From? To find the question of mankind origin. Esna Rigatovic Mudasev is Professor, Director of Russian Eyes at Bhatti Security Center, Higher Catholic Service, Horobo, Kosulin of the Louis Bank University, Member of American Academy of Ophthalmology, Certificate of Ophthalmologies of Mexico, Member of International Academy of Science, Three Times Champion of the USSI, is a fourth tourist in 2000. He claimed to have successfully transplanted a human eye onto a blind woman using a habited cornea and retina combined with an ablopan. The operation happened after he and his police were achieved to Tibet. According to Mudasev, this process gave him an innate and unprecedented understanding of center worldly ideas and concepts. He claimed he witnessed paranormal performing in during time morals in search of forefather. Jean, what would have found? The eye. Well, wherever you come from, whatever race you were, we are different in color skin, lack of hands, side of brains, stomach, lungs, everything. But there's one thing we are in the same own of human. Mudasev's hard work is a panel geometric analysis in 1,500 pupils from different countries and then for the one thing we humans have the same for every pupil, the sign of our corneas. Unchasau measurements has relieved that the size of the eye bone gradually exerted from the moment of birth until 14 and 18 years of age when it reaches its average size of 24 million. The diameter of the corneas, however, grow only very little after birth until the age of four, which is why children's eyes appear larger than the older. So, eyes of human is different, a size of corneas is the same. Actually, the difference with ape and monkey, the French scientist Courier, elected three races of human, white, black, and yellow. Didiker 1902 attended the world 29 different races on Earth. Britannica 1986 listed 16 races, and the Soviet scientist Adaki Ikaho besides described 35 races of human. So, Murasev will research in the 35 races of Ikaho book with pictures and high quality drawing photo. Focus to the fact of 35 listed races to find the same point by optimal geometric analysis and the statistically average eyes clearly belong to the Tibetan people. The question leads Murasev to Tibet and in there he sees the eyes of mystery in every Tibetan temple. The eyes look like human eyes a chain and then with the teaching of the master the discovered we are temples, law and ancient of the Tibetans. It was has been done and tell us the story of three and the race before mankind, the giant with the third eye. For most of the documentary research of Dr. Mudasep saw a mysterious eyes of Tibetan temples. The eyes is very different with our human eyes. He asks every month citizens in Tibet for the information, but no one knows about the true and full history. The only answer is about the two legends, the drama eye, the eye that helped us realize the teaching of the Buddha. And the second is the Buddha eye, the eyes of the teacher, the eye of enlightened in every Muslim Bible, whenever the Buddha indicates his power and wisdom. And some lamas told about the important one. The answer, the Zen before man, 
with help with his colleagues, would have spent seven years in Tibet and researched all documents about the ancient race on his travel that led him to the secret of Chai, a book originally published at the two volumes in 1888, written by Madame Helena Blavatsky. She might have attended some of her ideas about second land in the Indian Ocean from Sankar's legends of Bhutta. Blavatsky plucked her third continent of the third root race to inhabit planet Earth in the Indian Ocean between Madagascar and Malaysia a setting 150 million years ago. Surprisingly, many scientists of her day concurred and even came up with the name derived from Lemu, the ghost-like primates who eventually lived there. Lemurians were eventually eight laying beings with a third eye that gave some specific abilities. So, is the story of a tree acid race on Earth begins. The theory of ASEAN race is cyber the origin of humanity through an account of root race said to date back millions of years. The first root race was Eteros, the second root had more physical bodies and lived in Hyperborea. The third root race, the first to be truly human, is said to be a cyst of the lost continent of Lemuria, as the fourth root race is said to have developed in Atlantis, according to Bolabaskai, the fifth root race is approximately one million years old, overlapping the fourth root race, and the very first beginning of the fifth root race were approximately in the middle of the fourth root race. In the front of you, Murasev, Helena Bolabaskai, Gordon Michael Scallion, and Augusto Le Blancon, the who discovered and worked the theory of ASEAN race. Lemurians of Lemu is the highest revolution being on Earth. The living in hypothetical continent called Mu. Lemuria of Mu is the name of hypothetical continent that actually existed in one of Earth's oceans but disappeared at the door of human history. The concept as the name was proposed by 19th century traveler and writer Augusto Le Frangion, who claimed that the several ASEAN civilizations, such as those of Egypt and Mesoamerica, were created by refugees from Mu, which he located in Atlantic Ocean. Egypt was founded by Queen Mu, a refugee from the land's demise. Other refugees supposedly fell to Central America and became the Mayas. In 1864, the geologist and biographer Philip Scudder wrote an article on mammals of Madagascar in the Quarterly Journal of Science. Using the classification, he referred to Adelaide Moves, but which included related primate group and fused by the present of the fossil in both Madagascar and India, but not in Africa of the Middle East. Scatter proposed that Madagascar and India has once been a part of a later continent after gaining some academy within the scientific community, the concept of Lemuria began to appear in the works of other scholars. Ernest Huckel, a Darwinian taxonomist, proposed Lemuria as an expression of the ascent of missing link for soul records. Other scientists hypothesized that Lemuria had extended across parts of the Pacific Ocean, seeking to explain the distribution of various species across Asia and the Americas. In 1999, driven by the Jardin Resolution, research received in the Indian Ocean discovered evidence that a lake iceberg, the Kairulan Plateau, was submerged about 20 million years ago by rising sea levels, similar solar columns, and fragments of wood in a 90 million year old cement. In 2013, the study of grain of sand from the beaches of Mauritius led to the conclusion that a similar landmass would have existed between 2000 and 85 million years ago. In the second volume of Civil of Chai, dedicated to anthropogenesis, Lavaskai presents a theory of gradual evolution of physical humanity over time span of millions of years. Some detractors have emphasized facets and footnotes that claim some people to be a less fully human or spiritual than the Aryans. According to Civil of Chai, there will be seven root races assembled for our Earth. Eight root races is divided into seven sub races. Only five root races have appeared so far. The sixth is expected to emerge in the 28th century.
the first root race was Ethereum, i.e. the word composite of Ethereum matter. The product by dividing land and mobile earth was still calling at this time. The first mountain to arise out of stormy primeval ocean was Mountain Meru. The second root race lived in Hyperborea. The second root race was colored golden yellow. Hyperborea, including Hyperborea, included what is now Northern Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia, Northern Asia, and Kapacha. The climate was tropical because Earth had not yet developed an acid to tears. The esoteric name of the continent is Flaska. They call it themselves the Kimbu Sar. The product by burning, the second root race has no recent day descendants. The third root race, the Lemurians, was black and lived in Lemuria. The esoteric name of Lemuria is Somali. Lemuria, according to Theosophists, is settled in the lake part of what is now the Indian Ocean, including Australia, and expanding into the South Pacific Ocean, its large remnants of Australian continent, the island of New Guinea and the island of Madagascar. Lemuria site gradually was eventually destroyed by the incendiary erupting volcanoes. According to Chinese theosophy, Lemuria root race began 34 million years ago in the middle of what was then believed to be the Rura Sea. Thus, the people of Lemuria coincided with the dinosaurs. The Lemuria race was much taller and bigger than our current race. The first three subrace of Lemurians reproduced by laying eggs as the first subrace began 60 million years ago began to reproduce like modern humans. As Lemuria was slowly submerged due to volcanic eruption, the Lemurians colossal the era Southern Lemuria, i.e. Africa, Southern Indians, and East Indians. The descendant of Lemurian root race, according to the Chinese theosophy, includes the copper race, the Congo race, the Dravidians, and the Ochaloi race. The fourth root race, the Alatin, according to theosophy, arose approximately 4 million and 500,000 years ago in Africa from the fourth sub race of Lemurians in a part of Africa that have been colonized by the subrace in the areas now inhabited by the Asati. Theosophists believe the Alatin root race was physically progenerated by the Chansukamanu. After they arose in Africa, they left Africa and colonized the continent of Alatis. The esoteric name of Alatis is Kusa. The Alatin root race has Mongolian features. They began with broad skin and gradually evolved into the red American Indians, Romalian, and yellow Mongolian race because some Alantins eventually migrated to the Americas and Asia. The seven sub race of Alantin root race were the Mohan, the Tavali, the Tote, the Turanians, the Semites, the Akkadians, and the Mongolians who migrated to Ancolosai East Asia. The theory asserted humanity was the fifth root race, the Aryan race, which Theosophy believed to have emerged from the various four root race beginning about 100,000 years in Alatis. Theosophists believe Aryan root race was physical progenitors by the Vavasatu Manu, one of the masters of the ancient wisdom. The present day ethnic groups not closely related to a new race is the Kabais. The small band of only 9,000 pupils, considering the then small Aryan root race, migrated out of Atlantis in 79,797 BC. The birth of the new white root race particularly referred to a new race as being moon colored. A small group of the Aryans migrated from Atlantis, split from the main body of Migrate, and went so to the south of an inland sea. In what was then a Vedan and La Sahara, they would fall the city of sun. The main body of mid current continued onwards to an island called White Island. In the middle of what was then an inland sea, in what is now the Gobi Desert, where they established the city of Brick.
the subrace of Aryan people dress include the first subject, the Hindu, who migrated from the city of Greece, as why Iceland is the middle of the Gobi Inland Sea to Indian in 60,000 BC. The second subject, the Arabians, who migrated from the city of Greece to Arabian in 40,000 BC. The third subject, the Persian, who migrated from the city of Greece to Persia in 30,000 BC. The four subjects, the Sands, which migrated from the city of Greece to Western Europe beginning in 20,000 BC. As the fifth subjects, the Teutonic, which also migrated from the city of Greece to what is now Germany beginning in 20,000 BC. In the darkest history of the war, Hitler has made reference to an Aryan race fighting a superior type of humanity. The Polish stock of Aryans according to him, was the Nordic people of Sweden and Norway. The Nazi claimed that the Germanic people represented a southern branch of Aryan Nordic population. And in 12 December of 1935, Henry Himmler, the right hand of Hitler, directed a program called Le Ben Bonds with other segments of Nazi rural curries, whereby thousands of Polish children were kidnapped to Germany station. The administration inverted a fire at one of the re-education camps, followers by being fostered out to German families. An estimate 200,000 children were kidnapped from Russia and Poland in an effort to accomplish the task of building an Asian race. So why the Andal race and Aryans, the first of mankind, is more powerful from our human race today? Why we will call it the evolution from Asian race? The answer will be in chapter 2.